right moving on to the next really really beautiful chord this is what we call in music as a 7 flat 9 so let's first look at how you build a dominant seventh chord i'm going to do this on a okay all through this lesson i'm going to use different roots i don't believe that c should always be considered also from my perspective i think the key really matters the key really inspires your fingers to compose music in a specific way and very differently like how someone like me would compose music on the f key would be very different than how you would or how i would approach the same thing on maybe a e key or an e flat key so keys are very different so i'll be constantly looking at different uh, chords to explain each of these uh, extensions so anyway that's your a major so this is a dominant seventh chord how do we build a dominant major plus two that's your flat 7 so this is a this is a standard chord which kind of resolves to the tonic la da 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 tam pa da re cha re pa 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 da pa da da di cha da 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 do you know it's a very common sound you know used by a lot of kind of gives you a connecting pathway to pretty much any tonic you know we've done a lot of videos on dominant resolution and even secondary dominance which you should check out in our youtube channel okay so this can now be extended by adding the flat 9 this is what i really like that's how it sounds so it's essentially a very diminished kind of sound as you'll hear there's a diminished chord in there but it's a it's also a dominant chord which is a 7th so you could play a the dominant 7th what is the dominant 7th again the flat 7th so this will be the major 7th bring that down so that's your dominant 7th then you could voice third fifth seventh again if you'd like and now either on the top end you could add a b flat that becomes a flat 9 or at the bottom end you could add the b flat again that obviously becomes the flat 9 Okay how are we approaching B flat as the flat 9 if you take any kind of interval like 9 11 or 13 these are intervals which are beyond the octave so 9 is sort of like a 2 the second but now we are mentioning it as 9 flat so that will be the second degree which is B going down by 1 that will make it a B flat and now if you add that dominant beautiful sound so this is how i play it you could also invert it you could also look at it as diminished seventh chords in your right hand with an a bass look at all those shapes okay with that so it is a dominant chord by nature so this chord really loves to resolve back to the home minor so a d minor it could perhaps even resolve to d major but i prefer the resolution to the minor i at least what i use in my stuff very much part of the harmonic minor scale if you use it that way as a dominant chord It's also great to compose melodies just using the A seven flat nine and 
it is all like you can just keep looping that another thing i like to do is to suspend that ninth chord or suspend the flat nine so this is what you could call as an a7 flat nine with a suspended so it's a7 sus4 flat nine so a big name for a chord but it's quite easy to form you still have an a7th here then you have build the remaining notes of suspended four which is Okay, and then add your flat nine for that real spice. It's almost a scale on its own, right? So. sort of very minor very it could be a painful sound it could be melancholic it could be even nostalgic in a way and you can follow it up with that chord i taught you earlier which is that minor major 7th ending okay guys so that was about the 7 flat 9 chord which is another one of my favorite chords of all time and i could spice this up further with that suspended flavor let's move on